The exhibition we visited was I Spy Elizabeth Vonar at the Polygon Gallery in North Van. Elizabeth Vonar is a Canadian artist who has worked primarily in mixed media collage and sculpture for over 20 years. Since graduating from Emily Carr Institute of Art and Design in 2002, Svonar has earned many awards for artistic achievement and her work has been featured in exhibitions across Canada and internationally in New York, Australia, Japan, and Belgium. Svonar collects recognizable images from various sources and reinterprets them to produce juxtapositions creating surreal dreamlike images. She invites the viewer to search for the details within her work and to make personal associations, developing subjectively our own idea of what Svonar means to express. Her exhibition at the Polygon included works Storyteller, Samira, Hello Helen, Skull, Photography is Hard, Ode to Sherman, and I Spy. Elizabeth Svonar's I Spy 2020 is a large-scale vinyl print collage which measures 92 by 141 inches. The collage is comprised of a total of 55 whole images, which are repurposed, cut, distorted, and arranged in a non-linear and irregular formation. The arrangement and compilation of the images reflect a very traditional collaging technique, which can be referred to as the cut and paste technique. This technique also gives the overall work a more technological and digital art look or aesthetic. The work from afar is seemingly bright and colorful, using a lot of contrasting colors such as blues and oranges, with bright pops and accents of other colors including reds, purples, yellows, and more. Though, when the work is approached and you move through the individual images, there is an overall darkness to it, and some of the images appear to have a sinister quality to them, especially images such as the gloves, the various hands, the spider web, and also just with the overall use of black. The use of black helps create more distinction and contrast between the images, allowing your eyes to view the images independently as well as a cohesive unit. Since there is not a distinct point of focus or central image to the work, it seems as though you are to begin observing it from whatever catches your eye or your attention first and then moving through the collage. The piece is very interesting because new things can be discovered every time you look at it, and depending on what angle you view it from can also affect your viewing experience. There are two major ways to contextualize I Spy. You've got to look at range, be it in time or content. You cannot contextualize a piece in this exhibition by confining it within a specific time frame. The pieces in the collage span across multiple decades, so we had to look at contemporary issues that possibly inspired this collection, but they also had to be issues that have been passed on across all these decades, like civil rights, the struggle for gender equality, entertainment, and just generally the struggle of artists trying to find their voice in a world where the medium of artistic expression is constantly changing. And the second is content. The collage can seem a bit confusing at first glance because it is a giant mix of things chemically juxtaposed. You have really benign pieces surrounded by really graphic and highly sexualized stuff. The consensus within the team is that the collage uses parts and pieces of these contemporary issues without ever treating them as a whole, thereby critiquing how society commodifies and consumes these struggles without really addressing the actual problem. The artist constructed the work by combining various kinds of images together. Some are done by the artist herself and some are not. During our visit, we found a connection between these images and we assumed that such combination stands for femaleism where female struggles for their rights and the movie Conway is rather positive. Evidence includes number four, a female anime superhero, which looks like a, a symbol of female power. And number 35, where two females raising their arms, which looks very determinative. And number 25, where Martin Luther, a reformist who changed Christian, Christianity, is shown, which could be seen as a symbol of change. Many other images seem to reflect 
Men's common stereotype about females also occupy a great portion of the work. Uh, these pictures of little animals which corresponds with, with the female belief that females are supposed to be tender. So overall we could say that the artist is trying to show that she embraces traditional female symbols while the way she shows this reality picture does not give us a sense of exclusion but on the other hand she also wants to win a position for females in society. One of the main things that both the Polygon Gallery and Elizabeth Zivoner have in common is that they both are media-based and photography-oriented. The relationship that the Polygon Gallery has with Elizabeth's I Spy exhibition is that it shows a variety of different works on digital media and different techniques that artists approach on photography. The artworks presented in the gallery showcase situations that occur in today's society such as feminism and women's bodies being used as objects. Most of her works are collages. Her piece, Photography is Hard, done in 2019, was specifically created for the Polygon Gallery due to its main focus on photography.